morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Tuesday of the weekday of Christmas season, before Epiphany. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Please be seated. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and born away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back all my sins, for it is not the netherworld that give you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, 
O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. He shall sing to his string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you our praise is due, in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come, with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call, to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with flowers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who founded the salvation of the human race on the incarnation of your word, give your peoples the mercy they implore so that they, they may all know there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. If you consider that God is righteous, you also know that everyone who acts in righteousness is begotten by Him. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on Him makes himself pure as He is pure. Everyone who commits sin commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. You know that He was revealed to take away sins, and in Him there is no sin. No one who remains in him sins. No one who sins has seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. Alleluia. 
of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted Him, He gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whoever you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kilala ni San Juan Bautista ang kanyang sarili, kaya alam niya ang kanyang lugar. Kaya nang dumating si Jesus, at sinabi ng mga tao, kay Juan Bautista, ikaw ba yung Mesiya? Sabi ni Juan Bautista, hindi ako siya. Siya, hindi ako siya. Alam niya ang kanyang lugar. Hindi niya inaagaw ang lugar ng iba. Magkakagulo lang naman kapag ka wala tayo sa lugar at inaagaw natin ang lugar ng iba. Halimbawa, may mga anak ha, porke nakatapos na, porke titulado na, porke kumikita na, pag makasagot sa magulang, pag may masigawan yung magulang, akala mo eh, sila nang magulang, aba, wala ka sa lugar, anak ka, may magulang ka, magpakita ka ng respeto, lumugar ka. May mga estudyante ha, akala mo dahil napakatalino, saan inaagaw na yung papel na kailang mga guro. May mga empleyado, may mga membro ng samahan ay kung makaastay, akala mo sila yung amo, sila yung superior. Nakakagulo pag wala sa lugar. Okay yung magbiruan, okay yung magtawanan, okay yung magkantyawan eh. Pero pag wala na sa lugar, pagka nagkakapikunan na, nagkakasakitan na, aba kumisan nga, biruan ng simula, nagpapatayan eh. Bakit? Eh wala sa lugar eh. Okay yung kumain, matulog, maglaro, gumamit ng gadgets, mga cellphones. Pero wag naman dito sa loob ng simbahan na bang nagmimisa. Wala ka sa lugar. Halimbawa, ba nagsalita ako, lalapit yung sakrista nito, padre tabi ka dyan, ako magmimisa, aba-aba, wala ka sa lugar. Magkakagulo pag hindi natin alam ang ating lugar. Maging maayos lamang pagka tayo ay nasa tamang lugar. At malalaman mo yung lugar mo kapag ka marunong kang magpakababa. Hindi ka nang aagaw ng papel, hindi ka nang aagaw ng lugar. Ang taong magpakumbaba, marunong siyang lumugar. Kaya maayos eh. Alam niyang dapat niyang gawin. 
Alam niya kung anong dapat niyang pag-aasal, wastong pag-aasal niya. Alam niya ang kanyang lugar. Si San Juan Bautista, alam niya ang kanyang lugar. Ikaw ba yung Mesiyas? Sabi sa kanya, hindi. Hindi ako. Alam ko ang lugar ko. Hindi ko kukunin ang papel o ang lugar ng iba. Kasi yan pa'y maging dahilan upang maging tanyag, maging sikat, maging popular ako, hindi ko yan gagawin. Alam ko ang lugar ko. Ikatlong araw ng bagong taon, patuloy ang ating paglalakbay sa bagong taon. Isang magandang paraan ng maayos na paglalakbay ay kapag kaalam natin ang ating lugar. Walang aberya, walang sakuna, walang gulo kapag ka nasa lugar tayo. Ako po ay taga Iloilo at may paraan kami ng pagpapara ng sasakyan. Pag gusto namin bumaba, sasabihin namin sa driver, manong, manong, sa lugar lang, sa lugar lang. At itatabi ang sasakyan at kami ay bababa. Ang ating buhay ay parang isang biyahe, parang isang paglalakbay. Sana pa minsan-minsan, tumabi din tayo. Sabihin natin sa ating sarili, lumugar ka sa lugar lang. Sa lugar lang. Si tayo po tayo. John the Baptist points to Jesus as the Son of God. Let us turn our hearts and minds to Him as we pray. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders and members of the church may go out of their own little worlds to bring people to the knowledge of Jesus with their self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may not seek personal gain, but give the best of themselves for the interests of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may realize their special mission of discipleship to the community in handing on the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are sick and suffering may come to know that God the Father cares for them and that they are precious in His eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our friends who in baptism died with Christ and have now completed their earthly journey may share in the power and glory of His resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have willed your promise to us by the gift of your Son. Grant us the grace to become true witnesses of His coming. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Bring you these offerings from what your bounty bestows on us, we pray, O Lord, that just as you have given to Christ, obedient even until death, the name that saves, so you may grant us protection by its power through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalaala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, Pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na agad ang ostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad 
at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng Austria upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. The Word was made man, full of grace and truth. He, he lived among us. From His fullness we all have received gift upon gift of His love. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Word, the Word was, was made man, man full, full of, of grace and truth. And truth. He, lived he lived among us. us. From His fullness we all have received gift, gift upon, upon gift of His love. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the sacrificial gifts offered to Your Majesty, O Lord, to honor Christ's name, and which we have now received, fill us, we pray, with Your abundant grace, so that we may come to rejoice that our names too are written in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy nating pagdilay nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo para sa misang ito. Ang ating buhay dito sa lupa ay isang paglalakbay. Paminsan-minsan, tumabi-tabi rin tayo. Sa lugar lang. Sa lugar lang. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Freedom from all sickness and restore them to good health. 
to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Yung may mga pagbindisyonan po, mangyari po lamang na pakitaas lang po ng mga pagbindisyonan po ninyo at wag na po kayong umalis sa inyong mga lugar. Kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oils, scapulas, crucifixes, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.